Hello there and welcome to the series of videos looking to cover the first year of A-level maths. Here we're on inequalities on graphs so you can answer questions from exercise 3f. So it's not much of an extension to what we did in the last video, we're mostly going to be working with quadratics and setting one line uh, greater than or equal to or less than or equal to another graph. So for example if we have two equations, one 12 plus 4x and 1x squared, um, label both of these on one axis. Um, find the intersection points and then part B is to write down an inequality for 12 plus 4x is greater than x squared. So we're looking to use our knowledge from quadratic inequalities to be able to answer when the line L1 is greater than the line L2. So what we need to do first is to find the coordinates where the two graphs intersect. Now remember, the way that we find the coordinates where two graphs intersect is to set the equations of those graphs equal to each other so that then we can find the x values where those two graphs have an equal y value. So set your graphs equal to each other, 12 plus 4x equals x squared, and then rearrange and solve this, uh, this quadratic equation as you would any other, so x minus 6, x plus 2 into some brackets, and we get solutions of x equals minus 2 or x equals 6. So that's going to correspond with one solution here, that's going to be 6, and this solution here this is going to be minus 2. We need to find the coordinates of where they intersect, so finding each of the y values that correspond to these uh, x coordinates, and we get y is 4 for the minus 2 solution, and y is 36 for the 6 solution. So we get the coordinates of minus 2, 4, and 6, 36. Now what we need to do for part b is to write down the solution of the inequality 12 plus 4x is greater than x. Now effectively what we want here is the line L1 to have a higher, effectively, y value than line L2. So looking at the graph here, we want the line L1 to be above the line L2 for a certain value of x. So in between the values minus 2 and 6, you can clearly see here that the red line is above the blue line. And when the red line is above the blue line, in this case here, because we want it to be above the blue line based on this uh, direction of the inequality here, we want any value that's in between minus 2 to 6. So our solution here is going to be minus 2 up to 6 um, for the x values. Okay, so if we choose any number that's in between minus 2 and 6, and we plug it into this equation here that we started with, we're going to have the left-hand side coming out on top of the right-hand side, because the y values would be greater at these points. Okay, you have a go now then. So pause the video and answer this question. Okay then, well done for having a go at that question then. Let's have a go at it together. So the first thing we need to do is draw the functions of f of x and g of x on the same axis. So let's get a big diagram up here. And I think the way I'll approach sketching these diagrams is to use y equals mx plus c. So for the first graph, start down at minus 7 and then go upwards with a gradient of 3. In this case here, when it crosses the x-axis, the y-coordinate will equal 0, so we're going to get 7 over 3. For the g of x graph, let's change colour for that, um, we're going to start up at 13, and this time the gradient is going to be negative 2x. So we're going to go downward sloping like this. So we've got g of x as the blue graph, it's going to intersect the x-axis at 13 over 2. And the red graph was the f of x function. So what we need to do for part 2 now is to find out when the two graphs have any intersection points. So when we find the intersection of two graphs, we set the equations of those graphs equal to each other. And then we solve the equation, so add 2x onto the other side, and add 7 onto the other side, and divide through by 4, by 5, sorry, and we get the answer of 4. 
Now remember we're finding a coordinate, so we need to plug in the x value back in to find the y coordinate. So f of 4 is going to be 12, take away 7, which is 5. So therefore the answer to this question is 4, 5. Okay, the second part here, the third part here, sorry, is write down the solutions to the inequality of f of x is less than or equal to g of x. So what we're looking for here is for the red function, the f of x, to be less than the g of x function, effectively underneath the blue function. And I think at all of these points here, we see that the red graph is below the blue graph. The blue, the f of x function is below the g of x function. It has a lower y coordinate, if you want to think of it that way as well. So what we're going to have as an answer for part 3 is, if it's less than or equal to, then we find what the intersection point here was, and that was 4. So x here is going to be less than or equal to 4, um, because we want all of these sets of x coordinates where the blue graph is, uh, has a higher value than the uh, red function, or the g of x function has a higher value than the f of x function. Okay, thanks for watching. So make sure you have a go at plenty of questions from exercise 3F. Remember watching the videos, only 10% of the learning. 90% of the learning is from you having a go at questions, persevering through the difficult ones, and asking your teacher for help if you get stuck. Thanks for watching.